there is a complete reversal of consciousness that occurs when the inner being opens and the awareness shifts inward. It may be experienced as a separation of an observer watching all the actions and events in the outer world, including the thoughts, feelings, perceptions, and outer stimuli that impinge upon the being. Suddenly, one might feel transported into a different state of awareness where the outer action seemed to be somewhat illusory or unreal. This seems to be one of the experiences that led to the development of the concept of the illusion of the world. Or one may be transported into a psychological space of peace or intense devotion. For some people, it comes when they experience a crisis such as a near-death experience. Suddenly they awaken into the world with new senses and they experience the divine within them, around them, surrounding and supporting everything that exists and they are at peace. Sometimes the inner door is open through meditation, through various practices of chanting or pranayam or devotional intensity as well. There's a long history of seekers going on vision quests to break free of the bondage of the outer world and its calls to experience a deeper reality. However the experience comes, it has the power to transform the life of the individual who has been granted that grace. While one lives constantly in the outer reality of the world, The idea is that these experiences are simply dreams or hallucinations. But once the experience of the inner consciousness opens, it becomes clear that there's an even greater sense of reality that abides with it than with the things of the outer world. We see many people who become disillusioned with their seeking after wealth, enjoyment, power in the world, and begin to recognize that there is a deeper significance to their lives. They respond to the inner call and get glimpses initially, and then over time, the consciousness, the awareness shifts to the inner being and a new sense of purpose, joy, and connectedness takes over the being. Some reject the consciousness of the external world at this point, and work towards liberation. Sri Aurobindo's yoga calls for an integration and a transformation of the experience of the outer world through application of this new standpoint and consciousness. Sri Aurobindo writes, quote, there are always two different consciousnesses in the human being, one outward in which he ordinarily lives, the other inward and concealed of which he knows nothing. When one does sadhana, the inner consciousness begins to open and one is able to go inside and have all kinds of experiences there. As the sadhana progresses, one begins to live more and more in this inner being and the outer becomes more and more superficial. At first, the inner consciousness seems to be the dream and the outer the waking reality. Afterwards, The inner consciousness becomes the reality, and the outer is felt by many as a dream or delusion, or else as something superficial and external. The inner consciousness begins to be a place of deep peace, light, happiness, love, closeness to the divine, or the presence of the divine, the mother. One is then aware of two consciousnesses, the inner one and the outer, which has to be changed into its counterpart and instrument. That also must become full of peace, light, union with the divine. End quote. Reference, Sri Aurobindo, Integral Yoga, Sri Aurobindo's Teaching and Method of Practice, Planes of Consciousness and Parts of the Being, pages 48 to 51.